hello guys welcome to Wix ideas in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to achieve the sticky scroll effect now this is a sticky scroll effect where we have boxes or containers that actually scroll and sticks to the top of your page and i'm going to show you exactly how to add this to your Wix studio website now if it's your first time visiting this channel i'm walter and if you haven't done so already i would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button this is going to be a massive help to this channel as it's going to get these videos across to all Wixers around the world who are looking to add fantastic effect like this to their Wix Studio websites. And most importantly, you can give this video a thumbs up and also turn on your bell notification to be reminded of our future videos. Now let's get started. Alright, so this is the website where I'm going to be working on this stick and scroll effects. I'm going to scroll all the way to this section. I'm going to click on this section here. I'm going to add a new section just above it. Now once you do that, it's going to add a new section for you. And you're going to go ahead and click on this section and go over to grid layout. Now right here, you're going to add any number of grids that you want to use. For me, I'm going to go ahead and add the three grids or columns that I'm going to use for this tutorial. So go ahead and click on that. Great. Now we have selected our section grid and the next thing you're going to do is head over to the height. I'm going to change this to 1200 pixels and this is going to give us enough space for us to add in our containers now just before we add in our containers i'm going to scroll all the way down to this section i'm going to add in some padding now click on this top padding and over here i'm going to change this to four and here you're going to apply this to all the edges of our section as you can see we have a four percent padding on all these corners of our section the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to head over to the design containers now here you're going to choose the container you're going to work with but if you have a design in mind, you can go ahead and actually click on an empty container and add in elements that you want. And if you follow through this tutorial to the end, you're going to find out how you're going to add a sticky scroll to your container elements. Now let's head back to our design containers and I'm going to add the very first container to my grid. I'm going to add it to the very first column. Now you can also do well to change or edit your column just to make sure that it works well with your website. So let's go ahead and click on this particular image. And over here, I'm going to go to the corners and change the corners to 20%. Now, this is looking good. Now, as you can see, we also need to change the corner radius of our container, which the image is on top of. Now, click on your image again and then head over to this breadcrumb and click on the container. And here, we're going to change the corner radius to 20 as well. Now, as you can see, that is looking all nice and clean. And the next thing I want to do is I want to change this image because this is a kitchen or a restaurant website. So I'm going to change this image to a food image. So click on change image and here I'm going to type in food and over here you can click on any image that you want. I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. And next you're going to do again is to head over to this breadcrumb and click on container. And we're going to click on this icon over here and we're going to duplicate this container. Now I'm going to drag this container to this very section and I'm also going to do the same thing again and duplicate this for the other section as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that and add it to my other grid. Now let's head back to our very first grid and here we're going to again select our container. We're going to make sure that this container is aligned to the top and it's aligned to the center of our grid or our column. And then just before we head over to the second container in our second column, we're going to scroll all the way down to the position. And here we're going to go over to sticky and we're going to make it stick to the top and we're going to set the offset to 13 percent now once we're done with this particular container we're going to head over to the second container now again we're going to change this image to something else since it's about food we're still going to look for another image that contains food in it now this is pretty good so i'm going to go ahead and select this option now, i'm going to go ahead and select the container itself again and we're going to go all the way to the top and here i'm going to make sure that this image or this container is aligned to the center of my column and it's also aligned to the middle of this particular cell or column now as you can see this is in the middle of our section and we're going to also do the same thing and make sure that this is sticky on scroll so head over to position and over here we're going to make it sticky we're going to make sure that it sticks to the top and it's also 13 percent offset now that is that about the second container we're going to head over to the third cell which contains the third container I'm also going to change this image. So head over to change image. Great. And then we're going to make sure that we select our container yet again. And we're going to head over to the top. And here we're going to align this to the bottom of our cell or the third column. And we're also going to make sure that this is aligned to the center of the column or the cell. Now, as you can see, these images are looking the way we want them to be. And this is going to show up first. Then this is going to show up next. And this is going to show up next. Now, most importantly, again, we're going to head over to the position. And the position type is going to be sticky. I'm going to make sure that this sticks to the top and the offset is 13%. 
and that is all looking good now it's time for us to test this out and see how it looks like so let's go ahead and preview this and see how it looks like and when you scroll all the way down you can see that the first image shows and it sticks the second one shows and it sticks as well and the third one shows and it sticks as well now this is how you add it stick on scroll on your Wix studio website and if this tutorial was a massive help for you don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and this is going to be a massive help to this channel and you also receive notifications when i release amazing videos like this thank you very much and i will see you in the next tutorial